God, our Heavenly Father, we worship you, we adore you and we glorify you. Jesus, our Savior and Redeemer, we adore you, we worship you and we glorify you. O Holy Spirit, the power from above, we adore you, we worship you, and we glorify you. Thank you, Lord, for this day. Thank you, Lord, for your protection. Thank you, Lord, for your presence. Thank you, Lord, for your guidance. Thank you, Lord, for being with us every moment, especially strengthening us in all moments of our struggle. Thank you, Lord. Dear brothers and sisters, we spend a few moments in the presence of our Lord, thanking Him, worshipping Him, adoring Him for all that we have received this day from the hands of our Lord. brothers and sisters in Christ. Today we celebrated the feast of Our Lady of the Rosary. We had the reading from the Bible, the Gospel according to St. Luke, the moments of Annunciation. Indeed, Mother Mary was perplexed in the first instance when Angel Gabriel spoke to her, addressed her with the word of God. But Mother Mary still opened her heart. The word of God says, when Angel Gabriel saluted her with the good news from the Lord that she has found favor, she was perplexed and she thought with her reason why this, why this addressing to her from God, why this visit of the angel to her from God. At the next moment, she left aside her reasoning 
and open her heart to receive the message of the Lord. Dear brothers and sisters, believe that this whole day the Lord was with us and talking to us. And at the end of that day, we are in the presence of the Lord. And at this time, we are not an analyzing or recalling everything with our reason. but opening our heart in the presence of the Lord to thank Him, to adore Him and to receive His message and His grace through every incident, every experience of our day. Just like Mother Mary, let us open our heart before our Lord so that this day will reveal the love of the Lord for us. Even in everything good and that's not so good that we experienced. But we will see that everlasting love of the Lord unfolding through every experience of this day when we open our heart before our Lord. Thank you, Lord. We worship you, Lord. We adore you, Lord. We glorify you. you Lord for your love unto us thank you Lord for the fulfillment of your promises dear brothers and sisters whenever we are in the presence of the Lord we got to keep always in our heart that the Lord is faithful to his promises the Lord is faithful to His words to His children. If we open our heart and look into our life, we will see that promises the Lord has fulfilled in our life this day. Thank you, Lord. Worship you, Lord. We adore you, Lord. Let our hearts also worship our Lord with the heart of Blessed Virgin Mary, especially this day of Our Lady of the Rosary.
Let us pray and worship the Lord with the magnificent Mary's song of praise. My soul magnifies the Lord and my spirit rejoices in God my savior for he has looked with favor on the lowliness of his servant surely from now on all generations will call me blessed for the mighty one has done great things for me and holy is his name His mercy is for those who fear him from generation to generation. He has shown strength with his arm. He has scattered the proud in the thoughts of their hearts. He has brought down the powerful from their thrones and lifted up the lowly. He has fulfilled the hungry with good things. and send the riches rich away empty he has helped his servant israel in remembrance of his mercy according to the promise he made to our ancestors to abraham and his descendants forever amen thank you lord We glorify your name, O Lord. For all the mercies that we have received this day in our life. Hallelujah, Lord. Praise you, Lord. We bless your holy name, O Lord. O Father, Son and Holy Spirit, we worship you for all your mercies in our life. for fulfilling your promises and being faithful to your promises in our life thank you lord we worship you lord we adore you lord we glorify you lord abba father holy spirit jesus christ o try in god o powerful we worship you almighty god we adore you hallelujah 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 Praise you Jesus. Dear brothers and sisters as we worship our Lord with blessed Virgin Mary today. Let's also remember to offer all our prayers at the foot of the Lord and those promises those answers the angel gives to Mother Mary. when the questions were raised how is it possible how is god going to fulfill all his promises the answer is the holy spirit will come upon you the holy spirit will come upon you there is nothing impossible to god Let us keep these two in our heart. There is nothing impossible to God. The Holy Spirit will come upon you. Oh dear brothers and sisters, let us offer all our prayers before our Lord. Let us invite the power of the Lord upon all our prayers especially those prayers dear to our heart pray for our family our personal intentions if there is anyone in need of healing in our family or we ourselves stand in need of physical emotional and spiritual healing let's offer that before our lord Let's also recall to mind all the blessings that we have received, especially healings, that will strengthen our heart, that will strengthen our faith before our Lord. Lord, we offer our body, mind, and soul unto you. 
just as mother mary offered everything before the lord without reserving anything for her any bit for her behold the handmaid of the lord be it done unto me according to your word yes lord at this time we too offer ourselves before you a body mind and soul with all our prayers in our heart Lord take complete control offering everything before our lord and inviting the lord into every moment of our life every bit of our life not reserving anything for ourselves and asking the lord to take complete control lord fill us with your own self fill us with your own power upon us so that we are able to say we no more live but you live in us Dear brothers and sisters we take a few moments in silence to offer everything before our lord every area of our life we need the touch of the lord let us continue to pray in our heart behold the handmaid of the lord be it done unto me according to your word behold the handmaid of the lord be it done unto me according to your word i am the handmaid of the lord be it done unto me according to your word let us pray in our heart offering ourselves unto the lord i am the handmaid of the lord be it done unto me according to your word I am the handmaid of the Lord be it done unto me according to your word I am the handmaid of the Lord be it done unto me according to your word I am the handmaid of the Lord be it done unto me according to your word be it done unto unto me according to your word O Lord thy will be done O Lord we pray O oh Lord from the crown of our head to the sole of our feet let there not be any part of our body a body mind and soul that is not touched by you that is not taken over by you that is not overshadowed by you we surrender ourselves unto you O oh Lord at this time worshiping the lord together with our own brethren from the different parts of the world if there is anyone struggling with breathing difficulties 
offer that unto the Lord and pray. Lord, let your hand of healing be stretched upon your children worshipping you together at this time. Dear brothers and sisters, as we offer ourselves unto the Lord, we pray with Blessed Virgin Mary that I am the handmaid of the Lord, be it done unto me according to your word. Let's also pray and intercede for the whole world. especially for the world standing in need of healing, human helplessness, raised as a cry before the Lord in the face of this pandemic for the healing touch of the Lord. O oh Lord, as Mother Mary prayed, the Lord has his mercy upon generations. Lord, we pray for your mercy upon your children of this generation. Especially your healing upon this generation, O oh Lord, the people on the earth, crying for your healing. Lord, we remember all those who are struggling with the impacts of COVID-19. Financially, those who lost their job and livelihood. Socially, because not able to join their family, stranded in different parts of the world, not able to console each other at the moment of a struggle and sorrow, especially when they have lost their beloved ones. people, those who are fighting at the face of this pandemic, especially the medical health care workers, we pray for their protection. Sections of people, those who are potentially ignored because of many reasons, especially the high demand of concentration for COVID patients. Those who are mentally broken down, we offer them unto you. Especially those who are lost their hope and gone into depression, we offer them unto you, Lord. Have mercy, we pray. Have mercy upon all the prayer intentions that we have received here in Divine Retreats and as summers be this day. Dear brothers and sisters, let's all kneel down before our Lord. As we come to the close of these moments of adoration, Entering into the moments of benediction. Let's continue to pour out our heart before our Lord. And we sing together. Down in adoration falling.
Let us pray. Lord Jesus Christ, you gave us the Eucharist as a memorial of your suffering and death. May our worship of this sacrament of your body and blood help us to experience the salvation you won for us in the peace of the kingdom where you live with the Father and the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Let us pray the divine praises. Blessed be God. Blessed be his holy name. Blessed be Jesus Christ, true God and true man. Blessed be the name of Jesus. Blessed be his most sacred heart. Blessed be his most precious blood. Blessed be Jesus in the most holy sacrament of the altar. Blessed be the Holy Spirit, the paraclete. Blessed be the Great Mother of God, Mary Most Holy. Blessed be her holy and immaculate conception. Blessed be her glorious assumption. Blessed be the name of Mary, Virgin and Mother. Blessed be Saint Joseph, her most chaste spouse. Blessed be God in his angels and in his saints. Amen. <laughs> 